Hello there, I am Malice Caliber. This is Let's Play Deadly Rooms of Death, a game I would say I'd never played before if it weren't for the several takes I've had on doing this already today. Yes. Uh, well, anyway, let's start from the beginning of the game, naturally. Now, I was going to say that I'd never played this game before, and I hadn't until Cam Studio decided to wipe all my settings without telling me. Anyway, whatever, let's just play it, let's just stop talking bollocks. Okay, so we are this guy, and his name is Beathro, I believe. We have a sword, which we can swing around in eight directions, and we can move in those eight directions. Oh yes, even diagonal movement will be employed in our quest. Anyway, let's just get moving for now. Okay, very simple little puzzle game. I've chosen to do it for several reasons. I don't play puzzle games generally, and I should. They are good and fun. Uh, and I saw this game going to mention on one of DC's LPs a long time ago. A fleeting reference. And no more. But I thought it was enough for me to go research the game and uh, play it. So anyway, Switch Puzzles are the name of the day for now. As you can see, we poke switches with our sword and they open doors. Let's try going up this way. Alright, slightly more complicated this time. But still not really that difficult, I shouldn't imagine. Stab. Stab. Yes, yeah, stabbing things is a big part of this game. Not just switches, as you will soon discover. There are other things to stab. Oops. Yeah, my using my controller for this, and the D-pad's a little bit iffy, in that sometimes it will slip from one direction onto another, and so you press them both at the same time. Not as good as my old D-pad, unfortunately. It's great in every other way, but yeah. Anyway. This room is empty, apart from this letter. And this letter reads, To open the blue door, you must conquer every room. Yeah, that's how this works. And there we have our first enemy character. A little grey cockroach in the top left. Who have now let out. Every time we move, he moves as well. That's how all the enemies work. And his pattern is to just go straight for you. Shortest path. Yes. We have slain him and laughed. Ha 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 ha. If anyone can get what laugh that is, i.e. what game and what character, I'll be very impressed. That switch does nothing of any use, so let's not press it. Oop. Yes, yeah, swinging your sword counts as a move as well. And those arrows can only be traversed in the direction they indicate. So no walking right over those left pointing arrows, you cretin. Disobeying the laws of the arrows, are you? Well, you will be punished. Aha! We are slaying roaches, who now cannot get to us. But they are on the other side of that block. Blocks, arrows, whatever, I don't care. Let's go this way. This is the natural progression. Ah, a green door, what could this signify? Well, I know, but whatever. A green door opens only after all monsters in the room are killed. Well then, let us kill them. Kill them indeed. Let's put the sword down that, that way, and then we can just walk through all four and go, ah, ha, 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 as they bleed, bleed all over the carpet. Tiled floor, whatever, I don't care. I would make it a carpet. Okay, same deal in this room. You must kill both the roaches to advance. You can exploit crap movement AI from them. At least you would be able to if you didn't suck. But you can trap them behind walls because they don't take those into account when they advance for you. And then you stab them to death. And stabbing them to death is the only way to progress in this game. It's the only way to progress in a lot of games, but this one especially, I think. Okay, a bit more of a puzzle to ensue in this room. We also encounter our first little save point, which I will grab. Ding! If you die in a room, it lets you start back from there, with all the progress you'd made in that room saved. Let's kill some roaches, why not? How about... Stab! Stab! <laughs> yes, the stabbing is a very key part of the game. In fact, it's pretty much the entire game. Stabbing enemies and switches. And I'm fine with that. I'm actually fine with that. Simple games are indeed the best. Stab! Stab! Alright, that's not necessarily true, but whatever. Stab! And now the door is open for us to leave. This room! And enter this room. I got stuck on this room for a little while on my previous four attempts. Oh wait, this is fun, hang on. Yeah! And you kill all of them in one fell swoop. It's not that simple for the following chambers, because they get wider, which gives the roaches more room to attack you. 
All right, let's see if I can remember how to do this. You've got to make them go in single files. You sort of dance them out a little bit. And just stab them as they approach. <laughs> yes. All roaches will suffer the same fate. And their blood will splatter across the tiled floor. And they will laugh. All right. Same basic deal again here. Just make them advance on us in single file. Stab, stab, stab. Oh wait, yeah, I died. That's what happens when you die. You start back at the save point, or at the beginning of the room, depending on the circumstances. Alright, let's try not to screw this up this time, because I'm pretty sure I did pretty badly just then. Stab, stab, stab. Now, if we move anywhere, we're likely to die. So let's not do that. Let's move our sword instead. Let's go. Swing! And now I will almost certainly die. Oh, I know. There we go. And then you just swing the sword back and forward. And then charge down the line! <laughs> Foolish roaches, you will be defeated by me and my mighty blade. The blade of Stabity Doom! Alright, now I might actually have to use the diagonal buttons here. But again, to this little alcove. And then it's pretty much just a case of swing your sword left and right and splatter the ground tiles with roach blood. <laughs> yes, they will be all destroyed. All right, mindless roach slaying aside, what does that say? An expert swordsman can clear out those roaches without using the alcove for protection. Well, fuck you, game. Fuck you. I'm just a beginner, all right. I don't know these things. I don't know how to play this game on any kind of advanced level. You suck! We'll die! As will your roach fiend servants die! I will stab them. They will die endlessly. Yeah! Alright, I did actually screw this room up in my previous attempt on this, so let's... Stab them all to death. Okay, I think that might be all the rooms solved now. And if it is, that means we can exit this level. We can't go out that way, so we need to go all the way down here and out here. Aha! And then we need to stab this switch. Be very careful as we go past this one not to stab it, because if we stab this switch, we are in trouble. We will seal ourselves out of the room, out of this room, and have to go back. All right. Seems to only be one red room left on the map down in the bottom left, so let's go and do that. Let's go and achieve that aim. Do 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 do. There we go. This one. I believe to solve it, you have to kill all the enemies, which doesn't surprise me. So let's do that. Because on no particular playthrough, uh, particular walkthrough of that room, had I cleared it until now. But I have. So now I should be able to exit the level. Exit level. Music's a little bit odd for a level exiting. Thing. Oh, well, the blue door is open now, so we can go this way. What happens now? Oh, there's more rooms. And I'm imagining that falling off of these tiled things will probably kill me now. Those look suspiciously like death spikes. So let's just very carefully move along them. Yeah, that D-pad slipping problem is going to be serious. I hope this isn't timed. That sucked. Alright, we're zipping through this fairly quickly. I haven't actually been this far yet, because my recordings have gone horribly wrong and Cam Studio hates me. Ah, here we go. Here's how you get out. You stab that to open that up, and then you just go to the right, if my D-pad will let me. Here we go. Ah, yes, I think this is the next level. Down here. Yes! Level completed! Hooray! Hooray for Beathro, and hooray for me! Me! Solving the puzzles. Easy as they may have been. Second level. Beathro's a bit rusty, but the next level should get him in good chopping form. Yes. Next time, then, on Let's Play Deadly Rooms of Death, King Dugan's Dungeon, second level. See you all then. Do 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 do. Oh, I don't have the music, so never mind. <laughs>